finally I got my car back. Unbelievable. <laughs> so what was the issue with my car? What was damaged? What software updates that they installed? What I experienced during my test drive yesterday? This is what you're going to discover in that video. I'm Patrick. I will be your host for today. And welcome to Gentleman's World. It took now nearly 14 days to get my car back from maintenance. You ask yourself, whoa, 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 whoa. What happened with your car? What was wrong? As I was mentioned already in my previous email, the 12 volt battery had an issue and needed to get replaced. Furthermore, when I was standing next to the car, I thought they had this electrical smog smell in my nose. I, I know you guys maybe know that when you're burning a wire or something like that, um, but it wasn't true. Fisker checked everything and the only mechanical issue which I had with my car was the 12 volt battery. So what else have they done with the car? It's all about software updates. I think all of you owners which are watching the channel received an email during the weekend that they're going to make a new OTA update over the air to you guys and they named you the points. For those who didn't receive these emails, I translated into English and you find it in the description. So what this update's all about? Can you recognize them or not? I will show you all the po points I recognized in the meanwhile and I didn't present already on this channel. Number one major improvement which I recognize is the air conditioning. Not that the air conditioning had a big issue, um, especially in hot days. It was really getting cold in the car. Even I was freezing compared to my other cars is much stronger and much better. Where you had an issue is on very humid days or when there was harsh environments. So you had a lot of fog inside, which you could also see then on the glasses. Yeah, And you barely got rid of it. You see it on the right hand side in that video when I mark it to you. Yeah? The second major improvement is that the air outlet, when you try to adjust them adjust to the left, to the right or up and down, sometimes, you know, like totally broke out and fell out. This is now fixed and everything works really smooth and wonderful. The second major improvement is all about connectivity and Bluetooth, especially with your mobile phone. So I've been able now to connect with the Fisker app and this opens a lot of options. So you can see in the Fisker app, for example, what how much battery level you have. You can open and close your car. You can locate your car. You, you can make also navigation system already um, put in, you know, like the data where you like to go to, the addresses and stuff like that. But also um, you can um, chat with people directly linked to your car. If you have an unlikely event of emergency, you can contact people now via the app. So that works very good. Also, you can set up now profiles if you have multiple people joining your car and you don't like to adjust all the time everything so you can make up the settings now. Also the Bluetooth connection is so much better as before. So I had sometimes um, the issue when I was listening to MSC Music for example that I couldn't put you know like the next track on um, because it just disconnected or it was frozen somehow or it was just like not connected to it. Yeah. I just also made a phone call and I was saying I was very astonished. Phone call has been very good already at the beginning, but now it was unbelievable good. Yeah, because the person I was chatting to was like I was surrounded by that person. Yeah, so that was a really cool experience. And I have to say the sound system of the car is just awesome. It's unbelievable how good this is. So all this Bluetooth connectivity now is very well and very stabilized, even when you go um, it's a couple of meters away from your car, it's still connected with the Bluetooth and you can listen to music and stuff like that. The third major update I recognize is about this tiny little thing here. By the way, there's something very tiny for you guys. Just like and subscribe my channel. I'm very thankful for that and helps me to create more content. And for me, it's a big thing, by the way. Yeah? Anyhow, coming back to the key fob, I still had the issue that sometimes when I was like trying to open the car that didn't work, and also when I was jumping into the car, it says low battery, you need to put it to the NFSC spot. This is now totally fixed. Even when you go for a bigger distance, it works perfectly. Also the California mode and everything works now smooth with the key fob. The fourth major thing I recognized is the navigation system. The navigation system already improved over the, over the last update, but I have to say now it's even much better. Yeah, I was tested yesterday against Google and Waze and I have to say it was so spot on. It recognized traffic, you come to the final destination with really the exact battery level yeah nearly 100 percent what they told you you know like you're going to go there for example they said you're going to arrive your final destination with 44 percent this was achieved that was really cool the only thing which needs to be improved a little bit is when you're looking for a charging station then it took it takes a little bit longer i think it goes via your app and looks then you know like to get all the data if they are occupied or not this takes from my taste a little bit too long 
Number five. The front camera improved significant. Why is the front camera for you important? It's not only when you're going to park, it's also recognizing, for example, you know, like speed limits and stuff like that. This is now really spot on and massively improved. Also, the car by itself recognizes much more if somebody is next to you and shows you everything in the tiny display. This is really a big jump further. Number six improvement. It's all about the radio. Yeah, you can listen now to every channel what you like to do. That works really, really good. Yeah, um, at the beginning I had issues that I couldn't listen to it or it was just breaking. Now everything is set spot on. Everything is cool. You can listen to your favorite channel and everything is cool. The seventh update is about the modis like Earth and Hyper and so on. And I was so astonished about the performance of the car because how it reacts now much better. And, and I have to say, I think it's much quicker, yeah. That I asked Fisker if they really put or if they put more power into the car, and they don't know to do. They said like, no, we just adjusted a little bit the modi, especially when you switch in between modis. Yeah, at the beginning it was a little bit like that. You needed to push the pedal quite significantly down, that you know, like the car started to accelerate. This is much better now, and I have to say, I really love this modi. It feels like the car is even more sportive as it been before, and before it was really cool to drive already. While we're talking about the driving modes, yeah, um, I did in one of my fiscal reviews said that the car is, um, you know, like when you push into the um, curves, yeah, that it push a little bit over the front wheels, yeah, and even when you accelerate, that it slips a little bit, like, yeah. So I've been asking you guys again, um, what about the torque vectoring? Because I was a little bit surprised about that. Not that the car is bad to handle. It's it's really lovely to handle, yeah? And I was really like um, surprised about, especially with this weight. Remember my another video. And guess what? <laughs> the torque vectoring is not there yet. It comes with an update in autumn. So that would be very curious because I think when they really kick in with the torque vectoring, then it's like on chains. That needs to be an awesome experience. So how did Fisker performed what outlook they have given to me and what have they given me as an answers for my questions. Um, well, I still um, have to say 14 days is for me a little bit too long to do all this maintenance. Um, they did a very good job. They've been very communicative, especially this week. They even asked me, you know, like everything is fine. They called me today and said, hey, is everything cool with your car? Anyhow, I have to say, um, I expect normally that this should be go a little bit quicker. Yeah? I really like the service. Yeah? What I also did is, for example, because you guys been asking, yeah, um, myself was said, oh, you maybe get a special treatment about um, while you are doing YouTube and stuff like that. So I confronted and I said like, okay, there are some of the people which I have also seen in forums, um, they're not getting quick answers from you guys so so can you please improve with that or what is your statement about and I said like yeah we really apologize about this communication and we like to get quicker with it due to the fact that we delivered so many cars right now plus um, we have also all the events we're a little bit tied up with resources but we have a plan where we hire in people and he showed me already you know like how many people they hired that they can answer much quicker I believe in what they said I really can confirm that all of the fiscal employees very ambitious about what they're doing. This is something which which I feel really cool about because you feel in every single guy I'm talking to Fisker that he really loves this brand and stuff like that. What I also said to him is I would like what I like to have because Fisker is very eager to get feedback is to have something where you can get or measure the performance from the roof because at the beginning it was um, shown in the um, uh, on the app where you can or in the um, display where you can see charging so it was said you know like maybe you got three kilometers to seven kilometers now it disappeared somehow um, could be also the weather conditions right now anyhow this would be something which i would like to have that you see for example a year yearly win or whatever you know like you like to have with it via the roof the second thing which i like to have within the car would be an app store because i listen to also some music which i'm using my iphone uh, my phone right now and um, that would be cool if I could download a couple of apps, yeah, because you got here certain limitation. Both things are in the pipeline and both things should be coming soon. So Fisker is really keen on really developing the car for you guys. And I have to say, I experienced this by my own also, yeah. When I got my car, it was in the tiny display, the navigation system was not shown. So I said, like, can't you show which direction like to go on this tiny display behind the um, steering wheel? And suddenly they did it. So, and this is something which I really cool, which I think it's really cool that you can, 
you know, like build up the shape of your car and the software and they really listen to you. That's really, really lovely. Summarized, I have to say, I'm really happy to have my car back. It is a massive jump what they did with the software updates again. I hopefully will not have the um, disaster again that I need to go for um, the garage for 14 days. Yeah, But I have to say, I rather prefer that it takes maybe a little bit longer, but then everything is fine instead of make a quick fix and then need to go to the garage again. So I really like the performance and I hope you enjoyed the video. It was really a pleasure to have you here. Thank you so much. Vielen, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. I wish you a wonderful day. I hope we see each other soon. Stay tuned and enjoy another video of mine. Cheers. Bye bye.